Russians have a tradition of excellence in the arts. They produce some of the world's most original and creative writers, musicians and cinematographers. It has also been a powerhouse on the sporting stage for generations. Another European country with a rich history of filmmaking and footballing prowess is Italy. And the Russians have looked to an experienced coach from the Mediterranean to produce results. Under Fabio Capello's direction, they have qualified for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in 12 years. Конечно, как и у всех, наверное, кто начинает футбол играть и дальше продолжает. У меня была мечта сыграть на чемпионате мира. No team from Europe has ever triumphed in South America, and conditions will again make it hard for those from the old world. Io credo che tutti quanti abbiamo gli stessi problemi, la distanza, il clima, tutte queste cose non devono essere una scusa. La cosa importante è arrivare con una mentalità e la voglia di fare, mentalità vincente, la voglia di fare. Like a kind of global goal, you need to stay. You need to live today's day, and what will be later will be seen. Это будет зависеть от нашей подготовки, от нашего состояния на тот момент, что мы способны сделать, а что нет. Поэтому должны все факторы сложиться, чтобы дойти как можно дальше. Russia contains Europe's longest river and is home to the world's deepest lake. In Russia, there are around 10 million more women than men. And a Russian holds the record for the longest legs of any woman in the world. It's said that football was being played in the time of the last Tsars of Russia, with the first organized games played as far back as 1887. After the Russian Revolution, the sport continued to thrive, and pitches were laid in Red Square in 1942 and 1943 for games played during the May Day celebrations. Today, notable clubs include Dynamo Moscow, CSKA Moscow, and Zenit St. Petersburg. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, Russia played its first international in 1992. Two years later, they walked out with Brazil at the FIFA World Cup in the USA, but failed to get beyond the group stage. The Soviet Union first appeared at the 1958 edition. With their renowned goalkeeper Lev Yashin, they reached the quarter-final stage, a feat they repeated in 1962. Their most successful campaign came in England four years later, when they reached the semi-final. У них нет в составе каких-то ярких игроков, может быть за российской сборной или там последними сборными Советского Союза нету каких-то больших достижений на международной арене. Но тем не менее зачастую слаженная игра команды вызывает трудности у соперника и пройти через российскую сборную. Для многих сборных Европы и мира это достижение. Russia's qualifying campaign got off to a perfect start as they won their first four games without conceding a goal. It was expected that either they or Portugal would top European qualifying Group F, and when the Russians beat the Portuguese in Moscow, they looked favourites. Well, первый ключевой момент это победа над Португалией. Она дала нам импульс и понимание того, что мы можем выиграть эту группу. Вот. Второе, наверное, это поражение в Белфесте. Оно получилось после игры с Португалией. Получилось два подряд поражения. The defeats in Lisbon against Portugal in the return match and then against Northern Ireland galvanized the team. che ho parlato chiaramente ai giocatori che noi eravamo ancora primi eravamo primi e quindi dovevamo giocare per vincere come tutte le partite e quindi questo ha creato grande attenzione da parte di tutti i giocatori e grande voglia abbiamo ricreato quello spirito vincente che ci ha portato a arrivare qui senza passare per la qualificazione Three wins and a draw in their final four games saw them through Russia will be taking part in their 10th FIFA World Cup, including participation as the Soviet Union. Oleg Selenko holds the record for the most number of goals in a single FIFA World Cup match after scoring five times against Cameroon in 1994. And a low point was their round of 16, 4-3 defeat to Belgium in 1986. 
As the Soviet Union, they became the first team to receive a yellow card at the FIFA World Cup in 1970. Kaki Asaciani receiving a caution against Mexico. And in the same match, they became the first team to make a substitution at the FIFA World Cup. Capello has been in charge since 2012 after the team's disappointing showing at the European Championship. He instilled organisation and discipline. Some have suggested he adopted a stereotypically Italian approach after the defence conceded just five goals during qualification, impressive by any standards. I have always played with contrarily to what one thinks. I've always played with many attackers. E, e quindi ho sempre avuto delle squadre che sapevano organizzarsi difensivamente però molto, molto brave a segnare, a realizzare molti gol e quindi è la mia filosofia della, della difendere ma anche attaccare. I ragazzi hanno le ustanovie che il trainer я думаю, это залог успеха, потому что встречался очень много с разными тренерами на своей карьере. И могу сказать, что у каждого свой подход, но здесь упор идет на дисциплину. Я думаю, что это дает плоды. Капелло has options, but may well choose a 4-2-3-1 formation. Akin Feyev played every minute of the qualifying matches in goal behind a solid back four, in which a mainstay is Alexei Berezutsky. A hard-working midfield should include Igor Denisov, just behind the lone striker. And this will be Alexander Kurtzakov or perhaps Alexander Kokorin. No, we try, in principle, as all the current players, who are the leading players, pressing. When we defend, we defend all the teams, starting with the attackers, attacking with the possibility of quickly making attacks. Il sistema va trovato secondo il tipo di giocatori che hai, perché se hai giocatori molto bravi tecnicamente, non forti fisicamente, faccio un esempio Spagna, devi giocare questo tipo di gioco con possesso palla e con piccole triangolazioni. Se hai una squadra, e faccio un altro esempio, come il Belgio, dove sono tutti alti più di 1,86 m, e allora puoi lavorare, giocare anche fisicamente. Capello used 26 players throughout qualifying, and the team has experience, a solid defence, and counter-attacks quickly. However, it is still a work in progress. I think that we need to add on all of them. Of course, I would like to add more to the control of the ball and pressing, because all the teams are playing in pressing. Помимо того, что нам его самим нужно развивать, и неплохо бы очень хорошо выходить из-под него, учиться выходить. Россия has been drawn with Belgium, who are likely to be the favourites in Group H. They also face Korea Republic and Algeria, who they will take on in Curitiba. The meeting will be one of four matches in this city which lies south of Sao Paulo on the Atlantic coast. It is the most populous city in the southern region of Brazil with 1.8 million inhabitants. And the Russians will make their way here for their meeting with Algeria on June the 26th. Russia kick off their campaign against Korea Republic in Cuiaba and then play the Belgians in Rio five days later. Their match with Algeria will be only the second time the nations have met. So they have to make a world in the world with great desire, with great determination. At a level of progress mental. And this will be important for us. Io non penso, penso ma non penso al, ai mondiali che giocheremo, giochiamo in Russia. Voglio i risultati in questi mondiali.